Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived in a little house in a wood. Father bear was a very big bear. Mother bear was a medium-sized bear. And baby bear was just a teeny little bear. <clears throat> One morning, mother bear cooked some porridge for breakfast. She put it into three bowls. There was a very big bowl for father bear, a medium-sized bowl for mother bear, and a teeny little bowl for baby bear. The porridge was very hot, so the three bears went for a walk in the wood while it was cooling. At the edge of the wood, in another little house, there lived a little girl. Her golden hair was so long that she could sit on it, and everyone called her Goldilocks. That morning, Goldilocks was walking in the wood. Soon, she came to the little house where the three bears lived. The door was open, and she peeped inside. No one was there, so Goldilocks walked in which was a very naughty thing to do. She saw the three bowls of porridge on the table. Goldilocks felt hungry, so she tasted the porridge in the very big bowl. Mm, but it was too hot. Next, she tasted the porridge in the medium-sized bowl. That was too lumpy. But when she tested the porridge in the teeny little bowl, it was just right, and Goldilocks ate it all up. Then Goldilocks saw three chairs. There was a very big chair, a medium-sized chair, and a teeny little chair. She sat in the very big chair, but it was too high. She sat in the medium-sized chair. It was too hard. Then she sat in the teeny little chair. That was just right. Mm, but the teeny little chair wasn't strong enough to hold Goldilocks. It began to crack, then it broke, and Goldilocks landed with a bump on the floor. Goldilocks picked herself up and went to see what else she could find. She went upstairs and looked into the bedroom. There she saw three beds. There was a very big bed a medium-sized bed and a teeny little bed. Goldilocks climbed up onto the very big bed. Hmm, but it was too hard. She tried the medium-sized bed. It was too soft. Then she lay down on the teeny little bed. That was just right. And soon Goldilocks was fast asleep. After a while, the three bears came home for breakfast. Father Bear looked at his very big bowl and said in a very loud voice, Someone's been eating my porridge. Then Mother Bear looked at her medium-sized bowl. Someone's been eating my porridge, she said in a medium-sized voice. Baby Bear looked at his teeny little bowl. 
Someone's been eating my porridge and they have eaten it all up, he cried in a teeny little voice. The three bears looked around the room. Father Bear looked at his very big chair. Someone's been sitting in my chair, he said in a very loud voice. Mother Bear looked at her medium-sized chair. Someone's been sitting in my chair, she said in a medium-sized voice. Baby Bear looked at his teeny little chair. Someone's been sitting in my chair and they have broken it. He cried in a, le in a teeny little voice. Then the three bears went upstairs into the bedroom. Father Bear looked at his very big bed. Someone's been lying on my bed. He roared. Mother Bear looked at her medium-sized bed. Someone's been lying on my bed, she said in a medium-sized voice. Baby Bear looked at his teeny little bed. Here she is, he cried, making his teeny little voice as loud as he could. Here is the naughty little girl who's eaten my porridge and broken my chair. Here she is. At the sound of their voice, Goldilocks woke up. When she saw the three bears, she was so frightened that she jumped out of the bed, ran down the stairs, out of the house and into the wood as fast as she could. By the time the three bears reached the door, Goldilocks was gone. From the day on the three bears, from that day on the three bears never saw Goldilocks again, and they lived happily ever after. For more stories, please. Subscribe.